I mean, the trailer for this, which we're showing our viewers yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. incredibly intense. As Nora says, the cinematography is really, really impressive. Yeah. As you mentioned, this is from a book. And the thing is, is these books, people love yeah. these books. But it's, is it hard yeah. taking a role when people are so obsessed with a book and they have basically that character already etched yeah. in their mind? You really, and then you're having to play at something that might be different. You really just hope that you, your version of it in some way is recognizable to how people have you know, imagined it. Because people, we do have these connections with books, especially you're reading them for a long time and it's all in your imagination. So we only hope that, yes, my, myself and Sarah said this a lot, that our versions of things we hope related somehow to uh, how people had, had imagined them. But yeah, you know, the show is sort of, it's a very dark, you know, psychological study of these two characters in the middle of a very difficult period in their lives where it's almost more so about how these two people deal with mm -hmm. these situations right. as opposed to the situations themselves right. to some degree, you know? So since, since it is such a, a dark show, how do you get into that mindset? When you get on set, when you're getting ready to film, how do you get into that the space? Weird, the weird thing is, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, a lot of it kind of just happens naturally. Right. So the scripts are very, very strong. Like Sarah Phelps is a, really a master of this kind of area of literary adaptations and, you know, detective crime stuff. And I kind of feel that the mindset is dictated to you kind of by the script. So if you just sort of pay enough attention to that and you're working with love, wonderful actors as we have on this show, it just kind of happens naturally, you know? And it's sort of, it's a seven month trip. You know, we were seven months filming in Belfast. Mm -hmm. We were very lucky, that's where they filmed Game of Thrones, so we had kind of the world's best in terms of crew, and we had three wonderful directors guiding us through it, so you kind of just, you let yourself fall into this little universe, and you know, Killian Murphy actually from Peaky Blinders was talking about this recently, how you always want to stay within the kind of, the universe of the role. You don't want to ever kind of detach fully, so when it comes to weekends and stuff, it's a bit more like, um, you kind of want to sit in it a bit, and you want it to sort of stay with you. And I wouldn't say that it's a sacrifice, though. It's exhausting. It's though. exhausting, but you know, <laughs> I suppose when it's what you love doing, it's uh -huh. sort of, it's a, it's a price worth paying for want of a better. By, by the way, this show is already premiered in the UK. It's already aired, so everybody already knows at least over there what's happened. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the because we in the states we're obsessed with British television, but everybody across the pond has already seen all this stuff already. Yeah. So we're just kind of getting. Stay away second. from Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you know, Great British Bake Off and Peaky Blinders, as you mentioned, sure, and even yeah. Downton Abbey. We're just waiting forever. But as you, for an actor, do you like that? It's like you're reliving the premiere all over again with a whole new audience. It's great. Yeah, I honestly, I find it really exciting. I mean, we had, there was a release in the UK, it was a separate, slightly delayed release in Ireland, and then now in the US on Sunday, so it sort of feels like you get to go through it sort of three times with three different audiences. Um, and the last episode went out only last night, so I landed in, in Newark Airport at like, I don't know, 9 p.m. or something, and my phone was alive with sort of people's reactions to the final episode, because it is the kind of show where it sort of allows its audience to it doesn't sort of take the audience for granted in a way, and it, it you, you, not that you have to work, but it doesn't sort of just solve everything for you immediately. So right. a lot of people were sort of just going, oh my God, this is the guy who did this, or what happened to they this? They already think they've solved the crime and the mystery and everything <laughs> yeah, yeah. already. And you're like, oh yes, just wait a few more episodes. That's all yeah, gonna change. Yeah, yeah, exactly.